Yeah, I really like this. This bottle right here was my first time trying it. Hello beautiful people and welcome to Bomb Kiss TV. So as you can see I sound pretty irritated right now. Um let me just explain this situation to you guys. Um so it's Friday. It is May 5th at 1025 a.m. And I have just gathered myself enough from crying just to get on here and explain to you guys what just happened to me because honestly I see a lot of things on social media, but I really just be thinking like, I'm glad that wasn't me type of thing. And it's now it's me. So as you guys know, I live in an apartment. I'm about to explain two incidents and I'm going to try and explain it in a short version just so you guys aren't just sulking in my bullshit. But y'all are my friends, I feel like, in my family. So I just have to let y'all know. And because like people need to bring awareness to shit like this because it just, yeah, let me get on with the story. So as you guys know, I recently filmed for a documentary, right? So I was, this is incident number one. I was filming for the documentary and the production team uh, came to my house and obviously I had to go let them in because my building, you have to have a key fob to enter any part of the premises. Like you have to have an actual key fob, like no visitors or nothing like that. You can't get in here without a key fob. So they let me know like, hey, we're downstairs. And I'm like, okay, cool. The production, Every member of the production team was on my guest list for my building, meaning that they were allowed to enter the building or like say I was down the street and they beat me here. I could call concierge and tell them to let the production team up, things of that nature. They were on my guest list for the time being that they would be, you know, here. So they call me one day, we're filming and they're like, hey, we're here, we're downstairs, we're in the parking garage. So. I go to the parking garage to bring them up into the building with me and there's a big white guy standing in the doorway of them entering the door to enter the building to go up the elevator right so I come around and I see them explaining themselves to this dude I come around the corner and I'm thinking like he works for the the building maybe so I'm like hey I have my fob right here they're on their they're on my guest list they're here with me and he's like no they can't enter without a fob I'm like they're on my guest list they're with me you know so I show him the fob in my hand and he's standing in the doorway to where no one can get through the door without him moving it's hard to explain if you're not here but just try and follow me so no one can get through the door without him moving so I'm like the fob is right here in my hand like please move and he's like no use it right in front of me like badge your key fob in and i'll move and i'm like what the fuck so i badge my key fob it turns green obviously because i fucking live here and then he's like yeah just because you have a fob that doesn't mean you uh live here i have to make sure you live here before you can enter the building and i'm like who the fuck are you you know what i mean so i'm like what's your name and he's like larry i was like larry have a good fucking day and he's like you too after arguing with me he's like you too he's explaining why he just did what he did not letting me in my fucking building so we get upstairs and i'm trying to remain professional in front of the production team because like even though it's a documentary or whatever and like this is real life shit i still want to remain professional when doing business with people but i really wanted to cuss larry out because i feel like if i was a white woman a middle-aged white woman or even like a 20 year old white woman you would not have like made me prove that my fob actually is active like what do you think i did went and had a fake fob made or picked up someone's fob off the ground like I have what I need to enter this building and you won't move you know so we get up here and at this point I'm embarrassed because like I live in this super nice building and I have concierge and you guys are on my guest list and whoop the bam but y'all like I can't even get in the damn building without proving that I live here like it was honestly embarrassing I felt um 
I felt judged, discriminated against. Like, I just felt so violated not being able to enter my building because some random dude. Now, come to find out, he doesn't even work for the building. He works for the company of the building that's connected to my building. He doesn't even work for my apartment building. He just, like, we have a shared elevator for... It's a super big um, company. I'm not going to say but I should and I will after I move out but for the sake of my safety and where I live I'm not gonna say but it's connected to a really big super big corporation and we share an elevator it's an entertainment corporation just it's in the entertainment industry the building that they are in so I'm, I'm I come inside to the apartment and I tell my leasing office what happened like hey I know we share an elevator with them but the fact that I have a whole production team here and they're listed on my guest list as access granted into the building under my lease. And not only can they not get in, but I can't even get in. I, I told them I shouldn't have to prove that my fob works to some motherfucker that works next door. Because what, I don't look like I live here? You know what I mean? Like, what, what, like, why do I need to prove to you that I live here? And he would not move from in front of the door before I showed him my fog work. That was incident number one of how this apartment building had has me completely fucked up. Incident number two happened just about an hour ago. So I'm in my bed, sleep, okay? A lot of times I sleep naked. Should I? Probably not after this, but sometimes I shower, I do my self-care, and sometimes I sleep naked, sometimes I have a muumu on, sometimes I have a shirt on, sometimes I just have panties, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm a female, I'm single, I live by myself, I, I sometimes wear just nothing to sleep, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm sleeping naked, I'm in and out of my sleep, it's like 9 something in the morning, like 9.15 in the morning, I'm in and out of my sleep, and... I hear someone yell maintenance from the inside of my house. Okay, understand what I'm saying. Now, let me explain something to y'all before I finish this story. I am not a hard sleeper. Okay, if you, the construction that I hear wakes me up, the construction on the street wakes me up, the TV will wake me up, someone flushing the toilet will wake me up, someone knocking on my front door, door damn sure will wake me up. Okay. I didn't hear anything until I heard maintenance and they were literally standing in my fucking house while I'm in my bed naked. I am livid. Okay, I'm fucking livid. At this point, it sends me into like a slight anxiety attack because I'm naked, my vagina's out, whatever. And before you bitches piss me off and talk about, oh, you're a stripper, you should be used to that, da 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 it is one thing to be in your home in and out of your sleep and you wake up and there are three men standing in your house while you are naked that is completely different from me going to work and working that is completely different me being caught off guard naked in the safety of my home is completely different so do not even try me in these comments do not think about your daughter being in my shoes right now before you comment some bullshit so i'm sitting in my bed and naked and they come and I'm, I'm yelling like can you give me a minute like what the fuck so he walks out he's like I'll be here and I'll be back in 10 minutes and leaves and I go down to the leasing office and I explain to them like hey I'm sleep naked and I wake up to three men in my house three not one not two three now let me stop I know that my past and what I've been through as a woman throughout my life and the triggers and trauma I have endured has nothing to do with them. I know that. But what I am saying is the incident that took place today should never happen in any capacity. I should never wake up and be alarmed by three men standing in my house. And I knew that they were going to say, well, we sent emails. It's posted in the elevator that we were entering the homes today. It's mandatory that our, our maintenance enter the homes today. I don't have a problem with y'all entering the homes. Y'all can enter this home every day if y'all want to my issue issue is you need to knock before you enter my motherfucking house because to be quite frank my shit is locked and loaded and i be on tens about shit like that you don't know what the fuck i've been through now if i would have if i would have came around the corner with my gun in my hand you would have thought i was fucking crazy i don't give a fuck if you're maintenance i don't give a fuck what you have going on you knock before you enter someone's house he gonna say well they have to knock and say maintenance then knock and say maintenance again before they enter or they sh if you don't answer then they're gonna assume no one's home knocking as you're opening the door is not knocking before you enter by the time he said maintenance he was standing in my fucking kitchen all three of them period unacceptable 
And if I had the time and the patience, I would pay to break this lease and I would pay somebody to pack my shit up for me and move down the fucking road. This is not the only luxury apartment in Nashville, Tennessee, and I can take my business elsewhere. And I wish I did not live here right now because I would blast the name of the company where that dude made me prove myself to him. And I would blast this fucking apartment. But you best believe the minute I move, the minute this lease is up, because that's not the first incident I've had with them. I've had them charging me, picking up packages out of my own goddamn mailbox. I've had them, um, when I was moving in, first of all, I signed, they gave me the key without even making me sign the lease, then made me come back and sign the lease because she forgot to make me sign the lease. Y'all are worried about the wrong shit. I should not have to prove to someone that works next door that I live here. If I have the fob in my hand, that's proof enough. And I shouldn't even have had to show him my fob. If you would move out the way, you would see that I'm going to get through the building because I live here. You don't even work here. You have nothing to do with this. And then I'm sleep naked and I look up and there's three men in my house. Be fucking for real. I'm pretty sure under some circumstance, I probably could fucking sue this piece of shit. But I'm not even going to go there. I'm not trying to cause a ruckus, but I'm bringing awareness to it. I did go back and order my door stopper, which I had at my last apartment. It's a door stopper that you put under the door to where even if someone has a key, they can't get in. I went ahead and ordered another one and it comes with an alarm. So the next time maintenance thinks they're going to knock and casually open the door while I'm in here doing my own fucking thing. What if I would have been in the shower? What if I would have been taking a shit? What if I would have been in the closet naked getting dressed? You know what I'm saying? Luckily, I heard y'all when I heard y'all. But what if the, I would have been blasting music, dancing in here, practicing for work or some shit naked? And y'all come in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because you send out an email saying, hey, we're having a mandatory policy this day, doesn't mean that you still shouldn't knock the day of prior to entering. You going like this. And then open the door. Maintenance is not knocking before you enter. Straight the fuck up. And I don't care how nobody feel about it. Like, it, that being caught go off guard like that as a female is ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. And literally, as soon as my lease is up, I'm not... I would never give, give an establishment like this my coin. Ever. And it makes me want to break my lease. I just have so much going on that I don't have the fucking time for it. That's why I said if I had the time and patience, this would be my last night spending the night here. But I'm going to ride this lease out. I'm going to do what I do and just try and ignore what the fuck just happened. But that shit irritated the hell out of me. Not going to lie, it irritated me like bad. Like it's I was crying. I'm calling my mom. And mind you, at the same time that they're doing this, they're also having a testing for the fire alarm. So they're on the inter intercom saying testing, testing super loud. It sent me into a full blown anxiety attack. Don't ever enter anyone's home without knocking. And for you ladies out there, if you're going on vacation, I hate to put fear in y'all's heart or nothing like that. But if you live in an apartment or if you, you know what I'm saying, you are a woman, you have kids, you know what I'm saying, or you be leaving your kids at home, they're, you know, teenagers, they watch themselves, whatever the case may be, order a fucking door stop for your house. If you have a landlord or if you stay in an apartment, if you, if there's anyone that has access to your house other than you Order a door stopper off of Amazon. When it comes in, by the time y'all see this video, I will make sure that both stoppers that I have ordered will be in my Amazon store linked below in the description box. Order a door stopper for your house. These men will enter your home. They will enter the home. They don't give a fuck. And when I went to the leasing office and explained to the leasing office what happened, he said, well, I'm sorry if you didn't hear their knock, but... They sent out an email saying that they'd be coming. Yeah, they sent it out last week and still didn't knock this morning. We're not talking about an email. Well, it's posted in the elevators. We're not talking about a post it. I don't care if they would have called me on their way up here. I don't give a fuck. You still knock on the door before you come in. What the fuck? That's like a regular person in there fucking their man and their sister's in the neighborhood. So she just pulls up and enters the house. Boom, they on the couch. It's the same thing. You knock. You let the patron come to the door and open the door for you. If you knocked, if you actually knocked and I didn't answer, okay. But you cannot knock the same time you're opening the door and walking in. Are you kidding me? Like, so it's just to the point to where in the same leasing person, I've had issues with him before. Like when I was moving in, I had kind of moved in on the elevator. You're, they have a loading dock and like a moving section. Well, I didn't know that because I didn't have a proper onboarding I didn't know how we were supposed to move in. You're supposed to schedule your move in, like schedule the onboarding, the dock, all that. I didn't know that because they didn't tell me that. The minute they could get me to sign for my parking garage pass, which was $100, they handed me the key and walked off. 
that was it. I had no official onboarding. I didn't know where the Luxor room was, where we get our packages. I didn't know where the mail room was. I didn't know where shit was besides the pool because they gave me that tour before I actually signed for the apartment. They they were super nice before I moved in, but the minute they the minute they got you in that lease, they're fucking assholes. I swear to God. The only people that's halfway decent is the concierge. Last week I traveled to, back home to Oklahoma. I don't know if my keys fell out in the airport or in the Uber. I don't know which one it was, but I called the minute I realized I didn't have my house key. I called from Oklahoma and said, hey, I can't find my house key. I'm out of town until the 30th. Whenever I come back, can y'all have a new key made? And they're like, it's going to be $150. You have to bring a check before you can pick up the new key. Why is the key $150? But you know what? I'm not arguing with that. Okay, cool. My account for my rent and all my utilities and stuff is on auto pay with these apartments. So whatever fees I have gets automatically drafted out every first of the month. They're telling me I have to go in and pay all my May fees on the 30th before they'll give me my new key. My account is on auto pay. I, this rent is $3,000. Why do I have to steal a $150, $50 key? The, the, key, the amount for the key is going to come out on the first along with all the other bills. Today's the 30th. Why do I need to go in and pay $150 right now before you give me the other key when I already have my shit on, on auto pay to avoid all the fees associated with making payments? I have it on auto pay. If I'm paying a $3,000 rent, why the fuck would I steal a $150 key? You're going to get your bread. If you log in, you're going to see that my card, my account is on file to take the money out every month. Add the $150 on there and give me the damn key. You know what I'm saying? Well, they said you got to pay. I'm not paying that first. Give me the key. Okay, every other apartment I lived in, you get two keys when you move in for free. If you lose one, you already got a spare key, right? We didn't even get a spare key here. I got one fob. That's it. So I lost it. That's on me. Y'all charge 150. Cool. I'm not arguing that, but you're trying to make me pay the 150 early and pay my May rent early just to get a second key. No, I'm not doing that. If you want to charge me, cool, but charge it to my account and it'll the 150 will come out tomorrow with the rest of the fees. I'm not paying my rent and all this other shit early just to get a spare key from y'all. I should have got a spare key when I fucking moved in. Like, I just really don't like how this, how this fucking place operates. I really don't. Like, I... I'm over it like and I was about to honestly sleep in a little bit and then wake up and shoot some content make me some breakfast get ready for the day and shit like that but that just honestly threw my day off like I'm about to get in the shower and just relax it's Friday we're going to work tonight I have a makeup appointment at three so I'm about to just try and shower and lay back down and go back to sleep and restart this day because as of now y'all got me fucked up if you don't get nothing from this video buy a door stopper if you have maintenance or a landlord buy a door stopper because motherfuckers will walk in your crib period <sighs> i had to get that off my damn chest for real my mom's pissed about it too she wanted me to blast them on twitter and everything i'm not doing it i'm gonna tell y'all so y'all can know like this shit's happening but that i'm just so triggered like i'm so triggered three men in my house and I'm naked come on now do better like so anyways I'm about to shower and we'll saw maybe make me some tea or something and then I will see y'all a little bit later when it's time to go get the bag okay That way when I get out the shower, all I have to do is like cramp and pack my work bag and then go. So today we are installing this wig right here. 
it's gonna be a super quick install because it is a closure as you guys can see i'm glad i have this white shirt on because you guys can see it's already plucked and everything i bleached the knots and it's just a closure like a four by four i believe um and it has the adjustable strap and then obviously the three combs in there. This unit is from Elfin Hair. I'll have all that information below in the description box. But as of now, it seems like it's gonna be super easy to install and I'll probably just run some conditioner through it and that'll be it. So. And then I'm gonna go in with this mousse. And we're going to flatten this out and then we're going to go in with our conditioner and wait that shampoo oh my god one second now we're going to go in with our conditioner y'all almost really put shampoo in here i would have been mad i would have said fuck it i ain't going to work but we're going to go in with about that much conditioner and just run it through coat it well i want it to look wet all night so i really want to get it wet a lot i might put some more in there this is not leaving conditioner but for some reason on the wigs the conditioner does not stay white so Okay, Elfie. Elfie. And then we're going to just cut the lace. And we are back, and it is a few minutes later. And this is what we're giving. And this is not a frontal, this is a closure. So, yeah. Parting space, check. Lace, check. Wave, check. So yeah, my camera's about to die and I'm trying to get it to charge. So I'm about to let it charge and try and figure this out. But shout out to Elfin Hair. Uh, thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And yeah, let's get into the evening. Here? No, um, me and my sisters. So you have to go to Jordan. Okay, y'all. So I know. Again, let me explain. So sorry, I'm gonna cut. Oh shit! I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna cut her out. I'll put my big ass head. Yeah. Over here, so she can. Yeah, we got her out. I know. I'm sorry. The quality looks so good. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I'm so finished. I don't think so. Oh, I'm gonna just. So. Pretty much. We at the trap house. And it's Saturday. It is May 6th. Huh? Oh, I'm blocking the block. <laughs> Her hair comes in handy to block people. But it's Saturday, May 6th at 9 And we're about to get ready. I'm just gonna wear gold. I'm trying to clock in by 10 so my house fee's not a million fucking dollars. My hair is a little different. So I was wearing the elfin wig and I wore it yesterday on Friday night and I did great. I'm gonna do a money count with y'all, but my battery messed up so I had to buy a new battery yesterday on Amazon Prime so it can come the next day which is why it's the next day. That's why I couldn't vlog yesterday because, hey girl, hey because, um, sorry. I couldn't vlog because my battery fucked up and I had to order a new one. So that's why I didn't vlog Friday night, but I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can tonight. And yeah. You leaving early again? You can we leaving early again? <laughs> I'm staying till five. I'm staying till lights come on. Okay. I ain't playing. No. Why y'all do? What? Yeah. <laughs> not the. Not the locker room. Don't have faith in me. I have faith. I have you, faith. You. You better stick it out. I'm not gonna lie. No. Okay. So <laughs> yesterday was my first day back in two weeks, and it whooped my ass. But we still made it back yesterday. But I couldn't hang till five. I left at like one something. Me too. Yeah. We left the same time. Did you even do five hours? Did you Stop. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> 
Y'all, baby trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did a few hours. I came for a few hours, went back and left. But, um, so my makeup artist could not do my makeup tonight. So we just got fresh face. I moisturized, I did lashes, contacts, and then the fake freckles. Yeah. That's it. Anyways, I'll check in with y'all a little bit later because I gotta get ready. Yeah. And they got the um, cage shit and all that going on tonight. You saw it say? Yesterday? Oh, wait. No, right tonight. Now? What yeah, is it? Uh -huh. They have the cage. They're going to fight? Yeah. Uh -huh. The bitch is fighting. Let me yeah, in the cage. Yeah. Let me in the, let me in the cage. I wonder if it's the same people from last time. Oh, those are cute contacts. Thank you. Not you running. <laughs> Anybody? Y'all, we live from the locker room. Eating pizza. Because we got to do something. Listen. They, they snuggling. They cuddling under the blanket right now. She got a whole cardigan thing on. Okay, so tonight is like really weird. Like, my hair is fucked up. I need to straighten it, but oh well. But <laughs> she don't like to be on camera, y'all. <laughs> That's okay. But tonight is like really weird. There's people here, but we have like features, like the fighting that you guys are gonna see. I can show that right now. So yeah, there y'all see the, we have features tonight. I see, it's really um, I don't know. It's like 1.30, I'm trying to stick it out, but honestly like, I'm gonna get dressed silly. Hey girl. Well, I don't think I'm gonna get dressed silly. Like, I'm gonna try and stick it out though, but I just don't know. Y'all, this bitch Aaliyah being messy than a motherfucker. trap past hours y'all Aaliyah pretty and messy as hell wow listen but it's cool now, now I'm gonna look at that shit I don't know if it's really because it's of that it's not it's just I don't no know okay so is. that's supposed to cover but it's really making it louder what you talking Wait, about so you seen that there was something there. obviously I told you that oh, like, no, but I, no, I thought you were talking about it. mentally when I, I was, was. Mentally wait, what are you up. talking about? I'm talking about, talking about physically. Oh, no, physical. no, 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 no. Something physical. I was talking about mentally. Oh, like mentally, that. absolutely. I have I, that. I'm I, all the way down here. I know. Hey, babe. There's something mentally and physically <laughs> there. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Look at her running. Where are you coming from? Me? Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Wait, she, ooh, ooh. I'm so curious. Ooh, period, period, She has a nice period. coochie I saw it earlier today. I got Her? to inspect it, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, period, period. I got to inspect it earlier. <laughs> no, my makeup artist was like, how you get your, like that? It's so pretty. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't shave. <laughs> I don't get waxes. You don't? No, I stop. Oh, you do near. Yeah, okay. well, I do V, same yeah. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid yeah. to like, whip this around without hitting other Yo, I'm gonna go try again. You already. You guys, it was a wild ass weekend. I am about to straighten some of my money up and tell you guys about the weekend before we get into the rest of this week. So this weekend was very weird. It was like, it was slow. I'm gonna straighten my money out on this thing right here. I want you guys to see it too though. Okay, so it was like, it was, First of all, we had a feature, you know what I mean? Which we had the lady with the three breasts and then we had the midget cage fighting, which 
honestly i was worried about the cage fighting because i'm thinking like okay are people still going to want to tip money if they know that they have to throw it over a big ass cage but y'all want to know something funny y'all know something funny i didn't even get on stage not one time on saturday night and it wasn't because i was just hella busy because i wasn't hella busy saturday night it was just because the rotation kept getting messed up and then girls were complaining to him about the rotation which messed the rotation up even more you know what i mean and i'm not gonna lie like i never want to like make hella bread on stage so i really don't be giving a fuck about stage for real like every now and then somebody will be in there and show out nine times out of ten they see me in there before and they're just like showing love you know what i mean like i don't i don't have like i have huge stage presence but I don't put on like a crazy pole trick show or anything like that. So like, I don't really expect too much from stage. So when I do get skipped, it's not the money aspect that irritates me. It's the fact that I use stage as like a commercial basically. Like I use stage to basically just show who I am and advertise like what I have to offer, which is like looks. Like I'm going to give you looks, you know what I mean? Like. I'm just gonna give you pretty stripper bitch. Like I don't want to, and I give you freak because I wear a butt plug, but I'm not going to climb up down the pole. I don't expect two or three buckets when I get off stage. It's not like that with me. Like I'm really up there advertising the fact that I am tall. I have a pretty face. I have a nice chest. I have a nice size ass. My shoes are fully bedazzled, which gives like expensive vibes. Like I have like two, $300 shoes. And I usually wear like dresses or like black two pieces. So I'm giving like simple yet like striking. You know what I mean? Like my my makeup's done, my hair is pretty, like I'm giving like pretty pole princess. Like I'm holding on to the pole for balance. That's it. Like I'm gonna shake my ass. I'm gonna move really slow and just kinda like just give you pretty vibes. Like if you want someone to hold a, a cute conversation, I give a great lap dance, but I'm not on the stage expecting a bunch of money. So being skipped on stage, the money part is not irritating. It's the fact that I feel like you don't get to showcase yourself enough. Like, yeah, you can walk around and talk to everyone. But when you're on stage, everyone can see you from every angle. And the LED lights, not the LED, but like the strobe lights and stuff are shining on you. It's just giving like commercial vibes. Like everyone really gets to see all of you. The rest of the club is dark. You know what I mean? You can't really see for real anyway. So I was just kind of like, damn, I wish I could have gotten on stage, especially the night where the, um, I didn't get on stage at all. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just try and roll with it and work the crowd. I asked him one time to put me on stage and he was like, I'll see what I can do. And I'm just thinking like, mm, <laughs> is my name on the list or not? Like, what do you mean what you can do? But it's all good. Cause I know he's busy and he has a lot of girls. He has to put in rotation. Like, I'm not a DJ, so I'm not going to speak on that. I really don't even know how this shit works all the way. I just know there's a rotation. When you go into VIP, you get bumped at the bottom of the rotation. When you get out of VIP, you're supposed to get bumped up to the top. That's pretty much the basis of, like, the DJ that I know about. We did have a lot of girls there this weekend, but I don't know. By the time my name was up on the list, I was dancing with this guy, and we were doing, like, five dances at a time. Like, he was getting tickets, like, he was getting back-to-back -back vouchers to pay for the dances. It was like four in the morning. And I was like, or it may have been like 3.45, but you can't even get nude after three. And that's pretty much like after hours where like, people are looking at stage, but it's mainly like for you to get your last minute dances in rooms. And you know what I'm saying? Like make your last minute money. You're not gonna throw me on stage now and I'm finally actually making all the money I've made all night, like nope. So when my name finally did pop up at, at 3.50, I told the floor guy, like, tell the DJ I'm busy. Like, I'm not, like, uh-uh. Because -uh. I've been here all night. I clocked in at, like, 9.30. There's no reason why. I feel like also when you have a lot of girls that come up to him complaining, then it puts pressure on him to, like, move the rotation around. So, honestly, DJ, if you've seen this, I ain't mad at you. I'm just explaining my night. <laughs> like, don't think I'm mad at you because I, I don't DJ for a reason not my expertise okay but we did have a good weekend um it was just very weird and hard like you had to like find your one or two guys to really like make your night because if you were just depending on the crowd well i can only speak for myself i couldn't depend on the crowd as one 
ha had to find the one. And for those of you that hustle, y'all know what I mean. Like sometimes you can work and you'll look up and make money and be like, damn, I made a bag, but I really don't know how because I never had nobody show out for real. It just all added up at the end of the night. But for this weekend, for me, I had to find the one. Like without these one or two dudes, I would have made like $100, $200. But I found the one to pay me for real, for real. You know what I mean? So the weekend was interesting. Okay, so this right here is 1740. So let me put this in my calculator. I already know what I made. I'm just double checking and separate my bills before we turn this in. Okay, so that was 1740. And then we got 250s. That's a hundred. And then this is a 10 and a 5. So that's 15. And now we're going to count the ones. I would run this through the money counter, but I don't feel like going to go get the money counter, plugging it up, straightening these out. Because the money counter, you cannot put crunchy ones through it. Like, everything has to be straightened out. So, this is not a crazy amount. I think it's close to 200. So, I can hand count this myself. Or it's probably like 160 or something. But I can hand count this. So, let's get to it. our first hundred plus a hundred so okay I know it this was 68 so add 68 to that So this was our total and let me make sure you guys I'm running out of my favorite lip gloss I wear at work but that is all folks for the money count so as far as what's on the agenda today today is Monday yesterday I was I'm not even gonna talk about what happened yesterday on Sunday I'm not even gonna talk about it y'all I was hung over and so fucking irritated i hate the side effects of coming down from being drunk it is so annoying and that's why i haven't been drinking i've cut back when i drink at work which i cut back and honestly i thought it was gonna help me but it made it worse because now my tolerance is lower so like i can't explain it but it just made it worse like my tolerance used to be really high for drinking in general but then drinking at work so i stopped drinking outside of work like my me and my mom had champagne whenever we closed on the house um which you if you guys didn't see go look at the last vlog but we had champagne for that and then i had like a screwdriver at my brother's fish fry or whatever but outside of work i have not been drinking like if you ever see me drinking in a vlog um at home it's in a wine glass that's kombucha it's not wine it's not champagne champagne it's literally a probiotic health drink because i really want to stop drinking altogether outside of like occasions you know what i mean but um yeah when i went to work saturday now that i've cut back on alcohol when i went to work even though i've cut back at work it made my tolerance lower which means like i can't drink as much um and all my symptoms afterwards are like that much worse so this is a journey that i'm on as far as like my health and wellness just trying to cut back on this alcohol and cutting back was honestly worse so i feel like i may need to do just like cold turkey 
and just like you know obviously if it's an occasion a holiday or a celebration or something i'll have a drink or two like a mixed drink or two but as far as knocking the shots back like i see it in what i eat i see it in my weight fluctuating i see it in my bloating i see it in my irritability um it induces like psychosis and anxiety and shit like it's just so many bad things that come with like being drunk as fuck like there's nothing wrong with drinking but when you go to work and you're taking shots 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 and then the next day it's like on my sunday sometimes this is sometimes sometimes i'm just like i don't feel like doing anything you know what i mean and i'm just honestly sick of it like it's not aligning with my true self like i'm not 19 no more i don't want to drink i want the bread and it is hard to work up there being sober but i think it's something that i'm just gonna have to cold turkey and if the money changes the money changes i have multiple sources of income i don't need to you know what i'm saying go all the way there to make the bread but i haven't been open with you guys about this but it's something that I've been like dealing with on my own. I don't want you guys to worry or anything. I never drive drunk or no shit like that. Like, I know I'm out here in Nashville, y'all think by myself, but trust me, if I'm too drunk, my man comes to pick me up. Like, it's not that big deal. He honestly drives me a lot because I hate driving. So I'm never, I don't want you guys to worry and think like, oh my God, I knew it. She's drinking and driving. Like, no, I'm not. But I do want to just stop drinking. Like, it's not a vibe for real. But it helps you, like, get loose at work and, like, get in the mood in a sense. But my body feels way better when I'm not drinking at all. That's also why I stopped working as much because I used to work, like, four nights a week. And I would be drinking all four of those nights. And I would notice it in my face, in my stomach, in my energy, in my irritability. It heightens all the mental things I struggle with as is sober it heightens all of that and it's just like i'm over it honestly i feel like i'm just rambling but y'all my homegirls so i feel like we low-key on facetime what's happening but yeah so yesterday i just chilled which is why i'm just not picking the camera up again um and i was at the club saturday until 6 a.m and i stopped working at 4 30 but i didn't leave till 6 because there was a line to clock out which it's whatever it's saturday night girls are gonna clock out typically all around the same time but yeah i left work at 6 30. i went and got mcdonald's so it's pretty much the only thing open and then came home and sunday i went it was like date night which i didn't even enjoy the day because i was hung over like it was just ugh alcohol is getting so irritating to me like honestly it's not gonna be hard to cold turkey because it's already on my nerves like and when i say cold turkey y'all i'm talking about like the shots you know if you see me out vibing and i'm having a margarita that, that's a vibe i'm talking about the shot shot sh i'm not doing that no more like, i can't but that was our bag y'all know we gonna count up regardless but i also broke a few nails before and during work so today i'm gonna to go get these soaked off i'm over it and then i'm going to go to the same lady that did these nails um and she's gonna do i'm thinking about just doing a short french tip set today i'm pretty much going to go get my nails soaked off because she doesn't do soak off she just does full sets but um it's 8 45 the nail salon opens at 10 yeah but i can't edit or anything because my fingers hurt too bad so I'm probably just gonna chill, go get those soaked off, and then we're gonna vibe around the house today. I wanna make a green juice. I want to edit, I want to clean. I just wanna get my life together today after this long weekend I had. Today's pretty much gonna be my Sunday where it's like relaxing productivity vibe, but yeah. Okay, so I just got back from running errands. Um, I did get my nails taken off and cut down um like i said the lady that does my nails she does not remove your old set so i had to go get this done it's hideous i know but it's just for one day and it gives my nails like a break before i slap something else on there so i got all this stuff from the dollar tree we got a few bags from the dollar tree it's not too much nothing crazy i think i spent 70 dollars so i'm gonna show you guys what i got and yeah because we love a good dollar tree haul when i get those urges to like spend and splurge i want them to be like 
things that are like affordable, not gonna break the bank too much, and still things that I can use around the house. So we got some Brillo pads. We got some clear gloves. I got three different kinds of cleaning gloves because I wanna start cleaning with gloves on. When I do like my super deep reset cleans, I wanna start wearing gloves. So I got three different kinds of gloves. We also got some more sponges, cleaning sponge. Y'all love me a good Dollar Tree haul. And this Dollar Tree is bomb. They be having everything. Like I got some street taco seasoning. Why? I don't know. The packaging just looks good. And I'm like, you know what? I do eat tacos a lot and I wouldn't mind cooking some soon. So I got some taco seasoning. Irish spring because I love a good like stripping soap so i got some irish spring another cleaning sponge y'all know if y'all if y'all ogs here y'all know i'm gonna go spend at least 50 dollars a month on dollar tree and i got some cleansing pads this is just to like remove makeup right at the end of the day you know some days i film like a few videos in one day like a few hair videos and i wear makeup to work so sometimes i feel like this is necessary to go in and do before i actually get in the shower and clean my face so i got some of those here's my receipt yeah i spent 70 dollars but yeah i also got a lip scrubber which here lately I noticed that I be needing to scrub my lips. I brush them with my toothbrush, but sometimes that's too harsh. So I got a lip scrubber. I got some Pine Saw. I got some disinfected cleaner, clean sanitizers and deodorizers. The brand is Boulder Clean. So this is a cleaning product. This is like an all purpose disinfectant, basically like an all purpose cleaner. So I got that because I'm running low. This is what I use for all purpose, but to me, this is like a every sun. This is a weekly thing, like every Sunday thing. I wouldn't use this every single day because it's kind of harsh. So our next bag, we got some napkins, some dinner napkins. I got four different kinds of instant rice. So that's because your girl be busy. And honestly, rice is my least favorite item to cook. I love cooking, but I really do not enjoy rinsing the rice making it seasoning it i just i don't know i'm not into my rice bag like that's not one of my things i like to cook so i was like you know what let me stick with the instant rice because i started trying the instant rice around november like the bags like this that you just pop in the microwave and this is way more convenient and if you don't like the taste of them you can always saute some vegetables and cook them with this instant rice like throw them on the stove for a little bit after you microwave it you know what i mean so I feel like this is just like, if you're busy during the week, especially if you're a mom, like I'm not a mom and I use these, but if you're busy and you don't necessarily always feel like throwing down, you can throw down on your meats or your vegetables and just add this rice to it. And it's so good and easy. So we're trying some different kinds. I got the broccoli cheddar. I got the regular white jasmine rice. I got the chicken flavor rice. And then I got the Spanish rice. So these are the four different kinds of instant rice we got. And they are just the shit. Like two of these you pop in the microwave. Two of them you add water and put them on the stove. And they cook in like five minutes. So love the instant rice. I don't give a fuck how lazy it makes me look. We got some rubber bands. Because y'all know I've been trying to do the styles on the wigs. Like different styles. I want to do a crisscross style. I'm determined to get this crisscross style down because I feel like it would just eat. Like, I'm excited about that. And then we also got some hot and cold eye patches. I like mine cold. So I'm going to throw these in the refrigerator with my little self-care stuff. And yeah, they help with blood circulation, swelling, dark circles, all that. And then some floss. So I can't use these on my front teeth because of the way these teeth were applied on top of my real teeth and they'll chip, which is why I have the water flosser. But my back teeth are actually my real teeth. Like these back here are real, so I can use these in my back teeth, which is typically where I get things stuck anyway. So I got some more floss. And then I got this pack of toothbrushes. 
y'all know i keep the extra toothbrushes these are good for traveling they're good for just keeping for backups if you have company uh, or if you have family flying into town vice versa and then i got two of these little packs right here which these are like these little packs come with you know the tools at the dentist that they use to get stuff out of your teeth the mirror the pick the tongue scraper and the toothbrush tell me dollar tree don't be in a self-care bag like and then for those of you that don't know i used to have braces before i got um i almost said dentures i used to have braces before i got veneers i have composite resin veneers which they look decent but on the inside it's a lot going on so they did not remove my retainers so on the inside of my teeth, I basically have braces still, like on the inside. So you guys can't see it, but I can feel it. Um, these are what they give you at the orthodontist to clean your braces out and your brackets out. And this is also what I'm gonna use to clean the back of my retainers because the way I do it now with the water pick is cool, but this actually gets down through there. And then we have a mask applicator. I ain't gonna lie, I be going in with the mask and just slapping it on and just, I do too much, you know? <laughs> Like I'd be digging in there and it'd be a mess everywhere. And this is like an actual applicator to apply the mask to your face. Why I'm just now owning one of these, I don't know, but we gonna see. I got some bobby pins. I'm running low on these, 90 of them for $1.25. I feel like that was a good deal. These are just black. They had black and brown. So I just grabbed black. Dark chocolate, cause it's healthy. And it's something if I have a sweet tooth, some dark chocolate, that's the healthiest chocolate you can have. And then let's see what else we got. We are almost done with the Dollar Tree haul. So I got some electrolytes, electrolyte drinks, which is basically like a Pedialyte. Um, these are super hydrating, uh, full of potassium, zinc. It's a quarter sodium, but I believe that that's the same thing that's in sodium, like the salt, you know, the same thing that's in Gatorade that helps you like hydrate, which is weird because it's soft. But yeah, we're gonna try these. Now me personally, I water my drinks down. My Gatorades, my Powerades, uh, Pedialytes, anything of that nature, I put it on ice and then I do like 40% water and like 60% juice. For one, it stretches it. And for two, if there's things in it like salt or sugar, it kind of dilutes it a little bit. So I got two of these. The flavor is Fruit Punch. And then I got these two ready sports drinks, which is supposed to be no sugar, um, real food carb source, three times electrolytes for hydration, super fruits and B vitamins for energy. So I think this is kind of similar to like a, um, like the armor drinks, um, potassium, ni niacin, however you say it, vitamin B, uh, vitamin B12, magnesium, chloride. So these are all things for like hydration and energy. So I got two of those. I got this squeegee because I want to start squeegeeing my mirror and my, mainly my shower bathroom is really what I got it for. But it's just a squeegee. After you spray your product on there, you can squeegee everything off. And then I got a duster. I wanna hit the ceiling fans, cracks and crannies. I got some more spick and span um, kills 99.9% .9 bacteria, antibacterial cleaner, and the scent is fresh lemon. So it cuts through grease and grime. Yeah, I really like this. This bottle right here was my first time trying it. And I bought this, I want to say two months ago. And I used it as an everyday cleaner. So I ran through it. Like I completely ran through it. But I want to kind of dilute it. I'm gonna pour some of this into this with like some vinegar and some other things to kind of like stretch it and knock it down a bit because it's super potent and I like the product but it just could use a little notch down so I'm gonna keep this and kind of make my own concoction of it in here I got some more dishwashing soap more cleaning sponges I forgot what these are called I don't even know how to pronounce these if you know the pronunciation leave it in the comments this is like the little scrubby thing i don't know the pronunciation for that now this is for the tool that i had that broke you can hook this onto like a handle and scrub with it um mine broke off so yeah we got these i got two of those and then we got the brillo basics little scrubs for cleaning most of my stuff was either 
food or cleaning or self-care, honestly. And then this is our last bag right here. I got two Slim Jims. Nice little protein snack moment. And then I got wax paper for when I'm making sandwiches or snacks or... Can you bake on this? I know you can wrap up stuff in it, but can you bake on it? I hope so, because that's what I want to use it for. And then I got some large Ziploc bags. And then I got some super large storage bags because I was out of Ziploc bags. And that is it for our Dollar Tree haul. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. It is, well, the next afternoon. It's May 9th. It's 12.57 p.m. So I have quite a few packages right here that I want to open with y'all. Y'all can't tell by now I love getting shit in the mail. And I love opening it with you guys. So let's see what this is. Oh, okay, so this is the phone LED light I got off Amazon. I'm trying to invest in my craft, y'all. So I'll have this in my um, Amazon store. So I 100% need to update it. But this is basically like a little clip. I'll show you guys. Let me show you the what it actually is on here. But it's bigger than I thought. Okay, here it is right here. So it was $35 and it is the light that you hook up. Can y'all see? The light that you hook on your phone 
for like it's basically like a selfie light but yeah it's basically like a selfie light that you clip on the top or side of your phone that way when you're taking pictures or videos or whatever the same way you would catch like golden hour is basically like one of those but the thing is kind of big but it's small enough to where I can put it in my purse and carry it with me and just clip it on. I think any girl who does social media, not even a girl, but anybody who does social media or who, you know, does YouTube, sometimes I'll be taking good pictures in my house and it'll be in the nighttime and the lighting will just not be hitting right. And I don't want to necessarily pull out my big ring light just to try and get a little selfie or like for my thumbnails, my wig videos. I just thought that this would be like super handy to have. Sometimes I go to restaurants and um, in the restaurant, it's like very dim. And so putting this on before recording the food, you know what I mean? I just feel like this is a great investment. It was only $35. So that's what we got. We also got, let's see what this is. Oh, we ordered some new slippers. I get too many things in the mail, so I'll be surprised every time I get a package. It's like I forget. You know, I remember, but it's like, yeah. Ooh, they feel really good. So these were on Amazon, on Amazon as well super cute little slippers let me see how much they were i don't think they were too much but they're super soft and it has a little cushion i would wear these in real life with some cute socks like i would wear these out they're house shoes but i would i would wear these out like what these are cute as hell they look like the ugg shoes but y'all know i'm not about to spend ugg money like the uggs i have now my nigga bought those like i'm not no thank you <laughs> no sometimes i get in the mood to spend a little bit but if it's something that I feel like the brand like isn't a big deal to me that whatever it is is actually cute. Like those slippers are actually cute with or without the word UGG on them. If it's on Amazon, I'm going to get it off Amazon. This is a wig. The company name is not on the bag, so I sure hope it... Okay, yeah, this is um, a sponsorship a wig put this over here y'all see all that over there all that down there is wigs wig and then we have one more package see what it is i'm pretty sure i know what this is though y'all i'm starving i'm about to warm up my leftover um wing stock well, I kind of want the salmon, though. I don't know. I know I'm going to have salmon for dinner, so mm, I'm not really wanting to eat it right now. Oh, this is another sponsorship. My Jurley She. So I will make sure I get it in with y'all and try this stuff on. I'll actually probably try this on probably Thursday. Either tomorrow night or Thursday, I'll probably try this stuff on. But yeah, our Jurley She. We got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight new items. We love a good clothing haul. This clothing haul, my makeup gonna be done. I'm gonna be looking cute as fuck. But um, let me show y'all my nails real quick. So y'all know we had the long bedazzled moment where I was just like, I felt a little classy ratchet. So I got the super long French tip with the bedazzles. Well. We are back at it like a crack attic. We got the OG French tip square. These are like short, medium length. They're not super short, but they're not, they're hundred percent not long. They match my toes. I did not get my toes done because as you guys know, toes last way longer than nails for whatever reason they do. So my toes will be on for a month. Sometimes I'll get a pedicure. Sometimes I just do it myself, like rub it, scrub it myself. But yeah, I didn't get my toes done today and I'm glad I didn't because I did not feel like being at the salon for a long time. So I was very glad that I just got my nails done. But I'm about to warm up my leftovers and um, I feel like I need to take a nap or something. Warm up my leftovers, I'm gonna have some green juice, maybe some kombucha because I still have my kombucha from last night. And yeah have a little lunch edit my vlog um which you guys have already seen by this point the oklahoma city vlog i need to edit the finish editing that and 
yeah i'm kind of having a relaxing day i was gonna get my makeup done today and film all day and i'm so glad i'm so glad that i decided to change my makeup appointment to tomorrow and film tomorrow that way it gives me like a little time to slow down a little bit because the girl been running and gunning and that's good when you feel that spurt of running and gunning when you feel that take advantage of it and do it but when you also feel like you need to slow down just slow down just slow down so i'm gonna warm my left leftovers up and i'm gonna crawl in bed um take a little break and then i may start editing around like two it's 106 right now so i may start editing around like two i was working this morning from like 8 a.m to like 10 a.m i worked for like two hours took a break got the nails done picked the packages up and now we're back home so i just kind of want to relax and chill for a second before i get going again you feel me but let's warm up these food and i will check it with y'all a little bit later Y'all know what I'm realizing as this video continues and it's nothing but hauls and unpackaging. I need to sit the fuck down somewhere. I don't want to calculate how much money I've spent in the last few days, but it's investments. I'm investing in a quality life, so it's all good. But I'm going to do a quick little Whole Foods haul with you guys to show you what all I got. I went for kimchi. That's the only thing I went to the store for, kimchi. And I was like, you know what? We're out of spinach, so I might grab some spinach while I'm down there. And it just kind of went from there. And after a while, I realized I was just grabbing shit and I was not even fighting it. I told myself, as long as it's healthy and you're actually going to eat it, come on, get it. You can get what you want. So I got some spinach, which let me tell you all the story on the spinach. Okay, so I buy the big box baby spinach because I feel like it lasts longer than the bags of spinach. So I go to go check out and she's ringing this up. And it's one of the last things she's ringing up. And I noticed she stopped and she's like, oh my God. And I'm like, what? And she's like, there's a ladybug in it. And there was literally dead ass a ladybug crawling inside of the spinach. And at first, initially I'm like, I wanted to be like, ill, but my brain wouldn't even allow me to say ill. I was thinking, oh, that's so sweet. And she was like, do you want to keep it? Or do you want another one? And I was like, I kind of want to keep it. And then so they looked and realized that there was a hole on the side of the box of spinach. She was like, no, if there's a hole in here, like, you know, I'd hate for something else to be in here too. I'm gonna just get you a different one. But y'all know ladybugs are like a sign of good luck. So I thought that was just so freaking sweet. Anyways, me being mushy gushy. I got some kombucha. So I've been ordering the variety pack, which comes with one, two, three, four, five, six. Either six or eight bottles of kombucha. They're like the personal ones and it ends up being like $18 from Walmart. But I saw this and I was like, you know what? This is $10. I'm gonna just grab this, you know? I also got, I'm gonna try these chips. They are late July snacks. Jalapeno and lime tortilla chips made with organic yellow corn. Non-GMO project. So non-GMO verified. So these are supposed to be like, I wouldn't say healthy, but like a healthier option for chips. I love jalapeno, I love lime, and I love corn chips. So to me, this was just screaming my name. My camera's dying, so let me hurry up. I got some Dave's bread. We're trying this jazzberry organic superfood rice, which is like the black rice, and the flavor is coconut, and it has real coconut flakes in it. Y'all know I love me some instant jasmine fries. And then... We just got some lightly salted almonds. We also got some cranberries. So a little snack I had at the airport I instantly became addicted to was uh, crackers, cheese, and um, cranberries. And it was fire. So I thought like eggs, cracker, cheese, and cranberries for like healthy, Oh, almonds too. It had almonds in it too. So it was like a nut, a cracker, cranberry, and then cheese. And it was just fire. And I was like, I'm going to add a boiled egg to that and make that at home. So cranberry juice. We got to keep Miss Mama's together. And then y'all know the protein um, protein pastas. So these is, this is pasta made out of straight chickpea, which is basically like not 100% protein, but it's a lot of protein. So this box has 20 grams of protein and eight grams of fiber. So fiber helps with digestive tract, but you just boil them and eat them like regular noodles. So I thought that was pretty lit. I got the um, 
the rotini and then like the however you pronounce that we spent 109 dollars which i didn't really like that but it's an investment what else did we get kettle cooked himalayan salt and apple cider vinegar potato chips we're gonna try those and then this is the only thing I actually went to the store for, which was kimchi. And what's crazy is I thought I had some kimchi, but I go look in there and I can't find it. Like, I guess I ate it all, but we re-up on kimchi. This is sauerkraut. It's Russian-style red sauerkraut. So I'm thinking it's like sauerkraut and the red cabbage, like, fermented, which is kind of like, for those of you that don't know, it's a super, super, super probiotic, super healthy for you. I'm trying to get into my health and wellness, y'all. I'm trying to really be intentional and focus on it. I could have got this stuff from Walmart for a little bit cheaper, but Whole Foods was more convenient, so that's why I went. This is some sweet basil uh, field farmer dressing, and this is fire. You can cook this with like, you can top it on a taco, which is how I've had it a lot. You can use it as a marinade. Um, you can use it as like a dressing, mix it with some hot sauce. This is fire for those of you that are ogs you've seen this before i tasted this for the first time last year and i've pretty much tried to keep it in my house ever since it's gas and then i got two of these waters essential waters the ph in this is supposed to be like chef's kiss so i got two of these and yeah that's pretty much it I'm getting a little warm in my house so i'm about to turn the ac on put this stuff up straighten up i really want to taste these chips right now yep and they're the kettle con they're good and crunchy y'all hear that hold on delicious i'm gonna try these real quick too at a first glance doesn't look like there's much flavor on it to me the flavor is very subtle Okay, that one was a little better. One more. I'm fucking with it. They're not as strong as I like them to be. Y'all know 12 chips is one serving. Baby, as y'all see, I can go in on some chips. I like them, but I'm gonna straighten up and put this stuff away. My head is itching, but I'm getting hot. I'm about to straighten up, put this stuff up, and probably lay down for a little bit. Earlier when I said I was gonna lay down, I didn't. I just worked the whole time. I never, I didn't lay down at all. I just worked. So now I'm actually probably gonna lay down, but first I need to straighten up and get this house in order. Hey y'all, so it is a few hours later and I just got through doing my work for the day, filming my wig videos. Um, The bathroom is a freaking mess. I'm about to straighten it up a little bit, but I'm doing the same thing tomorrow. So honestly, I'm not even gonna stress myself out deep cleaning. As soon as I get back from Oklahoma City, that is one of the first videos I'm doing is my self-care everything shower and um like everything hygiene and then i'm gonna do that's one video self-care everything hygiene and then i'm gonna do deep clean my entire apartment with me and i don't care if that deep clean thing takes two days i don't care those are my first two videos i'm doing when i'm coming back like that's it so honestly this little cleanup is just about to get me through the night and we just gotta keep sometimes you just gotta keep trucking okay but anyways let's clean up this damn place.
y'all already know what I'm gonna say. It's the next day. And I am about to try on some clothes. We're gonna get ready for the day. I have a makeup appointment at three. I'm working all day today. Um, I have some videos to film. And then depending on how I feel when I'm done with the videos, I may go to work. I may not go to work. I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But for now, I'm going to get dressed for the day, brush my teeth, get ready. My house is still kind of a mess, but it's okay. I'm gonna do some light cleaning. Right now, I think it's one o'clock. So we have two hours before our makeup. Makeup is about 15 minutes from here. So I usually try and leave here at like 2.40ish. If my appointment's at three, I'll leave at 2.40. Whatever time it is, I leave like 20 minutes before in case there's a little bit of traffic. Um, so I have about an hour and 40 minutes before I need to leave the house. Um, Y'all know part of this little journey I'm on right now, this chapter in my life is like, I consider it like intent, like trying to be intentional and trying to better myself and as you guys know i've been trying to get dressed for the day because a lot of times like i slept in these boxer briefs in this gray t-shirt and like a lot of times i'll just throw on some sandals and walk out the house like throw on some tights and walk out the house but part of being intentional is looking good and feeling good so i've been into like doing hauls here and there when i can trying on different clothes figuring out my style my style has changed so much like i used to like wear a bunch of colors and then I had this season where I was wearing like nothing but black and gray. And then now I'm getting to this season to where I'm wearing like simple like creams and browns. Basically like the way my house looks is kind of how I've been gravitating towards dressing. I still love black. Black is still one of my favorite colors. But I've been gravitating towards like plain Jane style. Um, and I don't know. It's my mood right now. So I ordered a few items from Zigu. All the other items will be, all these items I'm trying on will be listed in the description box below. I think I have five. I think I have, oh, this is just a receipt for one of them. I think I ordered five things total. Anyway, I'll make sure all the information is, is in the description box below if you guys are interested in some of these items. I've never ordered or shopped from there before, so I'm really interested to see how these things are going to turn out. I believe I got everything in large or extra large which is currently my size. I don't ever wear clothes that are like actual numbers. It's always just like large, extra large. So yeah, I've just been, my style here recently has been more of a like calm, like just subtle vibe. Like that's what's been eating for me here recently. Like just calm and subtle. Um, that's what I feel the most comfortable in and that's what, I don't know, I feel like it matches my energy. So um, we're gonna try these items on and see what looks best. And then I'm kind of gonna just straighten up a little bit may wash the dishes um rotate the clothes um i'm drinking on some cranberry juice and kombucha so i might sip on that a little bit basically just do some things around the house um until it's time to head to makeup and then um we sold another wig so i'm gonna stop by the post office to ship that off if you're watching this if you just bought the highlighted blonde yulisa thanks girl um but yeah i'm gonna go ship that off um, and she wanted it expedited so that she can get it in one or two days. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and film. So for now, let's try on the clothes. Do y'all styles be changing too? Is that normal? Like over the course of the years, you notice your style changing. Like one minute you might have an emo phase. Then one minute you're like city girl, hot, sh hot girl shit, city girl shit. And you like everything's busting butt is out. Like you turned up. And then one minute you're like calm, grown, sexy, like... The ladies that watch me, y'all let me know. Does y'all style change over the years too? Or is that just, it can't just be me. I feel like everyone's style changes. I don't know. It's me right now though. So anyways, let's try on these clothes. Okay, you guys, this is outfit number one. So I try to make it to where you guys can see the back in the front but this is outfit number one so these pants i already own let me see them tucks when you throw that ass back let me see them tucks when you throw that no i'm just kidding but these pants i already own and this top was from them so i'm pretty sure this is a large or xl i'll have the links below and i thought the off the shoulder is cute you can throw it off this shoulder just for like a loose look I think it, I like it like this better. 
I think I like it to the side better. Or you could always do like tuck in the side right there, like tuck in the front corner. Like that. But it's a cute color. The material soft it has a pocket right here. I like how loose it is and versatile. I think this is cute. I would 100% wear this outfit. I might wear it today. Do y'all like oversized things or is it just me? In person, it's kind of like a lavender, like a really light lavender, but it feels good. It's giving grown woman vibes. I got shit to do, so hurry up. That's what it's giving, like we gotta go. I just dropped the boys off at practice. I have things to do, let's go. That's what it's giving and that's so me. Not in real life, but that's my vibe, you know? So let's try on the next outfit. Okay, so this is the next outfit. So this is the next outfit. This is how I personally would wear it. So as you guys know, you might recognize this shirt. I own this shirt, but these bottoms, they have good elastic on them. So they're still gathering me at the waist, but if I was a little bit bigger, they'd fit too. And then this is just like a collared, like quarter leaf shirt. This is a size XL, but I ordered everything big on purpose. So, I would wear it like this. I would wear it like this, or I might would even wear it, let's see what it looks like actually on. And it has a collar on it, so I'm trying to, or even like this. It's giving art teacher, the cool art teacher. Like, I like this, but I think I like this better. I like this better. Do y'all like it better on my arms down like this with the shoulders out, or do you like it when I have it on all the way? Why do I always have to twerk? It's a disease. But this is so cute. And then you can like do the cuff link like this. Just for a little flavor. I think this eats. Ooh, I ain't got making these no more. <laughs> Okay, I have one last thing to try on. Okay, so this pair of pants is the last thing. And these are not supposed to go all the way to the ground. I believe these are supposed to be like, the kind that like, kind of stops above the ankle. <clears throat> and then it has this great elastic on it. Great elastic. Gathers at the waist. We love that. Flattering. Pockets pockets and then it has this thing where we can tie tie it up and have like a cute little bow in the front zigo y'all did y'all thing which outfit did y'all like better did y'all like the tall tee this one or do you like the coral pants that i have on or did you like the blue two-piece set better i ain't gonna lie i think i like i like the i like the blue set as number one my favorite and then i like this t-shirt next and then i like the coral pants that i just tried on last i think that's the order of operations for me but zigo thank you guys so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video I love all these items. If you guys like to work together again, please email me because these clothes are cute as hell and it's summertime and I'm going to be outside, okay? I might not be outside, outside, but I'm going to be outside. 
and I need to be looking cute, okay? It's all about intention. We are in our intention bag, and you look good, you feel good. Zigu, I can say you guys are making me feel good right now. I feel cute, I feel grown, I feel sexy. I don't always want ratchet clothes. Some companies, I know that's what's in right now is like the Instagram model look, but that's just not me, okay? So Zigu, I really appreciate you guys bringing a new flavor of clothing to my wardrobe. Um, I'm actually about to do like a super deep clean out of my home. And that's going to include clothes that I no longer wear or that I feel like don't serve me any purpose anymore. Or maybe I got purchased the clothes at a bad time in my life and I just, you know, want to kind of get rid of them. And so Zigu, you guys are pouring into my new wardrobe and I'm super thankful for that. Thank you guys so much again for sending these items over. And yeah, now I think I'm going to put on the outfit I'm going to wear, which is the pants and the t-shirt. And then we'll do some stuff around the house. If you guys saw anything you liked in the try on haul, make sure you check out their website. Once you pick the style, color, and size, you'll hit add to cart, and I'm going to show you guys how to get 30% off your entire order. Yes, 30%. So once you add the items to your cart, you'll click proceed to checkout on the right-hand side of the screen, and then you will see on the left PayPal and on the right discount code. So you'll type in this 30% off discount code for your entire order and boom, y'all saving some coins. Thank you again, Zigu, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And yeah, let's get back to the vlog. Straightened up the kitchen, washed the dishes, um, put the clothes over there, rotated the clothes. So now I'm just going to vibe. I have about an hour, so um, I need to get ready to go to makeup. So I may even take me a 30 minute nap. I don't know yet. But I just want to chill and relax and just take this hour to do nothing. I'm probably going to respond to some comments. But I just want to take this hour to give myself some like downtime. Just kind of chill and vibe out. Look at it as like a lunch break, but I already had a snack, so I'm not going to have any lunch. Usually when I want to relax, first things first, we got to get us a candle going. I want to give a huge shout out to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of today's video. For those of you that don't already know, which you should know by now, if you've been tapped in, you already know. But for those of you that don't know, Dossier offers luxury fragrances, uh, candles, men and women, unisex, perfumes, colognes, and they even recently launched um, home diffusers, which I'll be able to show you guys those diffusers here pretty soon because they are sending me some. But I did want to go ahead and let you guys know these candles are freaking amazing. They go with my aesthetic. They give me a luxury feel. 
anytime I want to wind down they're super strong so you don't want to leave them burning for too long but to me that's a quality candle I want to smell it throughout my house thanks again dossier for sponsoring this portion of today's video and let's relax so I just like a 20 minute nap. I am feeling good. Uh, I wrap my hair up because I need to touch up my lace, but I don't feel like doing it right now before makeup. But I was gonna take out of makeup, but my camera is literally dying like right now. So I have to leave y'all here to charge. Um, that sucks because I wanted you guys to come, but it's okay. I'll bring y'all next week sometime when I get my makeup done. I'll bring you guys with me. But yeah. And then the post office, it'd be, it be too much going on in the post office. I'd be trying to give y'all the post office runs, but sometimes it's just too much going on in the post office for me, okay? But I am about to head out to makeup and come back and film. If I go to work tonight, I will just give you guys another vlog. Um, but that is it for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoy spending the week with me. If you're not subscribed, if you are not subscribed, why? Look me in my eyes and tell me why. Hmm? <laughs> no, i'm just playing but now make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoy this type of content and let me know other videos you'd like i know someone asked for baby stripper tips slash hiring so i'm doing that you guys like the reset videos so i have that coming up you guys like de de-stress declutter and clean and organize so i have that coming up if there's anything i didn't list that you guys are interested in make sure you drop it in the comment section below I'll have the info to the wig, the try on haul, the dossier, anything you've seen in this video that you like, make sure you check the description boxes. I will have lots of goodies in the description box for you guys. Again, thank you so much for kicking it with me and I'll see y'all in the next video.